All right, guys, welcome to another video. Today, we're going to be talking about an EDC knife or tool that you need to check out. So, stay tuned through the intro. What's up? My name is Doug, the Bearded Outdoorsman. Welcome to another video. If you enjoy beard product reviews, gear reviews, and EDC gear, then you have come to the right place. Take that first step, click that subscribe button. Okay, so today we are going to be talking about, I don't know how new it is, but uh, it's new to me, and that is the Gerber Keynote. Now, this little knife, check this out. So it comes with a key ring attached and it also has a pocket clip or a belt clip however you want to do it now um, we're going to talk about this and i have been carrying this and and playing around with it and using it for uh, i guess about two or three weeks now and i really like it <laughs> now there are some reviews on amazon and i think there's been a couple reviews on youtube where people talk bad about this knife and but i'm gonna break it down and tell you what i think pros and cons about this and then you can make your own decision so let's talk about dimensions first so i said it comes with this key ring so we're not going to count this key ring um, in the dimensions we are just going to talk about the body of the knife so that it is two inches closed it is one and a quarter inches this way left to right open it is three inches long and the blade is approximately one inch at the longest point so according to gerber this is for cutting and scraping it is designed for a cutting and or scraping blade now you can see that uh, one thing, one reason I purchased this was because I just thought that blade was awesome. I mean, just sick looking. Um, and it's not big at all. Uh, now, you can hold it like that. It's not going anywhere. Even with just a one finger grip, it, you, you got a grip on it. it. It's pretty trivial, but one con that I have is that the Gerber logo is on the blade. It's not even on the body of the knife. Uh, the other con that I have is the fact that if I want to just carry this on my key ring, it is, without the right tools, it could be difficult to take this pocket clip off. Now, this is one of those kind of knives that I would much rather have on my keys versus having in my pocket. It is really, really small, and having it in my pocket would be... Uh, having to dig it out that kind of thing um, or having it on my pocket clip I think it would just get in the way I want an EDC knife that's easily accessible this one isn't one that I need to have that easily accessible and having it on my keys would solve that and I'd be able to get to it all right so I do not have weight I apologize I do not have the weight on this but this is a chunky little knife it is definitely got a little bit of weight to it. I think according to Amazon, it was somewhere between three to four ounces. But I will put the weight in the description below because I know I'm probably wrong. Now, one of the cons that were on the uh, Amazon reviews, as well as I think I saw in a, a YouTube video a while back, is we have our little assist button here, our little quick assist. Now, when you push this, it does not pull your blade out all the way. Now, there were some reviews on Amazon that said their knife was really, really tight, hard to get that blade out. Mine is somewhere middle ground. I mean, it's not super easy. I can't wrist flick this to get this blade out the rest of the way. I actually have to grab it and pull it. But one of the things that I really like, now people were talking bad about it, but I really like this, is if I go here and do that, now it is perfect for me to come in and use to open a box. Because that's one reason I wanted to pick this knife up was for opening boxes. Now you have a controlled blade that's not going anywhere. And you, if you've got it on your keys, you can hold your keys. Um, if you don't, you can just hold the key ring like this. And it is perfect for opening boxes. And then if you need to do more with it, you just open it up the rest of the way and you can cut. The blade is not super sharp. It's not up to Gerber standards when it comes to sharpness. But if you're using this for cutting open boxes, you're just cutting tape. It doesn't have to be a razor blade. 
and it works really good I, I do like that um, somebody put on Amazon that they didn't like the way to close it because you had to hold the blade I mean most knives you have to hold the blade to close and it is a liner lock down in here so it's it's not a bad deal I really do like this little bitty knife it works great for opening boxes I can't tell you how many I've already opened and played around with it just to see how it does and it does an amazing job uh, you can hold your finger right here which is going to prevent that blade from coming up anymore if you hit the instead of the tape you hit the cardboard it's going to keep that blade from opening up the rest of the way and you can do that and then you just close it shut and it is good to go so i really like this um, i will have links in the description below uh, i picked mine up off of amazon and i'll tell you that from the day i purchased this to the day i'm filming this the price jumped by about eight dollars so right now on amazon it is 25 dollars for this knife but if you work somewhere that you have to open a lot of boxes or you are just somebody who orders a lot of stuff from amazon and you need to open a lot of boxes this could be a really good easy way of opening those boxes versus having to use a key or something like that but i'll put links to not only amazon i'll go straight to gerber website and have that link down there as well and you can go check it out and make the decision for yourself that's the whole point of a review to so, show you the pros and the cons uh, and then you make the decision yourself so like i said about 25 dollars um, I do believe they make another color. They make one that's in Coyote Brown, uh, but that was not available whenever I made my purchase. The only one available was the black one. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Make sure to hit subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on your bell notifications, and that way you're notified when new videos drop. I do uh, beard product reviews. I do uh, gear reviews for outdoors, for, for hiking and camping, and I also do uh, EDC tools uh, to include wallets. I do a wallet series, and I do a lot of EDC tools, um, whether it be keychain tools, knife knives whatever uh, i do a lot of that so hopefully you'll find something on the channel that you enjoy and makes it worthwhile for you to subscribe so i think that is it until next time guys stay bearded get outdoors and god bless